Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah dari zaman saada fit dunia wal akhirah ada hari manita kawa amana wa amal salihat. Alladhi yukafir mujahidin wal amilin al mujtihin al sabrihim wa sabahin. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahdahu la sharika lah. Wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Amma ba'du. Kam yusaiduni an aquma istiqbalikum Wa rahimtu fi an rahimatikum Fi kudumikum ila hadin nadwa It's indeed a great honor to describe the The International Institute of Islamic Thought To be with all of you this evening Professor Dr. Malik Batri, who came along the way from Kuala Lumpur, and has been with us in the last four days, and we have a very tight schedule. But Alhamdulillah, we have a good chance also to visit Barubudur <laughs> on the second day. And Baba Sahran will come, will come again <laughs> to Jakarta. Baba Sahran is the coordinator of IIIT in South Asia. So, uh, saya ingin mengawali ini dengan bersama-sama membaca basmalah. It was uh, uh, informal actually, Pak Masudi. So don't worry. <laughs> Pak Masudi just arrived from Bahrain yesterday, so he's tired. <laughs> Dan juga Bapak uh, Profesor Subandi. Hari ini ke Cairo, jadi tidak bisa hadir malam ini. Uh, Dr. Elia, PR1 UII juga pamit beberapa. Ya, biasanya memang kalau orang-orang penting pada sibuk. <laughs> so, again, I would like to express my sincere thanks and gratitude and a warm welcome. Selamat datang, Bapak, Ibu, Sugeng Rabo. Malam ini sebenarnya lebih... Uh, silaturahim sesama keluarga karena kita sudah memulai dengan satu sunnah hasanah yes. yaitu kalau ada tamu dari UIE khususnya atau dari grup IT kita selenggarakan pertemuan dengan para alumni dari International Islamic University of Malaysia yang di Jogja cukup ramai ya berapa Bapak Sudi kira-kira Ya, ada 25 lebih mungkin Dan juga uh, Sempena uh, International Seminar inter International Conference uh, API Asosiasi Psikologi Indonesia Yang sudah berjalan Sudah lima hari sebenarnya Sejak tanggal 9 Bersama Profesor Robert Frazier Dari uh, Paulus Alto Dari Sofia University Di Kalifornia, kemudian Profesor Dr. Malik Batri, Profesor Dr. Rahmat Khan, Presiden baru dari International Association of Muslim Psychologists yang sekarang berbasis di Pusat Pendidikan Sultan Idris di Perak. Karena beliau ada uh, tugas, maka beliau sudah kembali juga Profesor Dr. Mulyadi Karunegara yang sekarang di Swasi, di Brunei Darussalam University itu kemarin kita sudah kembali ke Brunei dan Alhamdulillah uh, bahwa Profesor Dr. Malik Badri sampai saat ini masih bersama kita uh, saya ingin juga menyampaikan kabar duka cita bahwa dua minggu lalu mantan Presiden Triple IT di Washington DC di, di Amerika dipanggil Karamatullah Bapak Dr. Jamal Zazandi yang fotonya ada di depan kita beliau adalah seorang organizer beliau seorang pemikir beliau juga seorang penggerak ya, sejak masa mudanya yang saya sudah mengenal beliau cukup lama tapi secara fisik bertemu ketika saya menyertai Pak Habibie waktu itu dalam konferensi BES 
value and attitude of science in science and technology. Masa itu Profesor Abdul Hamid Abdul Sulaiman masih menjadi rektor dan juga semua orang antip lain yang di sana masih ada semua dari Dr Jamal Barzindi, Dr Wai Safi, uh, Erhayem Masku, ini. kemudian saya kira cukup ramai di sana Ibrahim uh, yang dari Mesir waktu itu sudah masih berada di, di Kuala Lumpur. Kemudian tahun 86 Pak Habibie berinisiatif menyelenggarakan uh, konferensi di Jeddah dan saya kebetulan diminta mendraft uh, deklarasi pendirian International uh, Iftihar International uh, Islam Forum, Forum Islamic Forum for Science, Technology and Human Resource Development yang didirikan di IDB di Islamic Development Bank dan deklarasi itu ditandatangani di Demen Ka'bah pertama kali yang ditus itu Bang Imad dan Jimri Yassin Diki dan saya dan setelah itu saya diminta oleh Pak Bibi untuk menjadi direkturnya selama 6 tahun di BPPT saya bantu Pak Bibi sebelum saya di Komnas HAM nah saat itulah kami dekat dengan Dr. Jamal Ganjanji dan kebetulan saat itu juga dibentuk Triple IT Indonesia dan saya menjadi sekjennya uh, untuk selama enam tahun tapi begitu saya masuk ke Komnas HAM kami meninggalkan uh, kegiatan itu kemudian konsentrasi di Komnas HAM tapi kegiatan kami dengan Triple IT sebenarnya masih terus berlanjut di depan kita ada Brother Syahran Kasim beliau adalah Direktur uh, Koordinator untuk, As uh, untuk Asia Tenggara kami bertemu pertama kali di Washington tahun 94 when we were young <laughs> ya, masa itu kita masih muda tahun 94 ya. dan sekarang beliau masih tetap keep young <laughs> Masya Allah, terima kasih Pak Saron yang datang jauh dari Kuala Lumpur dan minggu lalu kami bersama beliau di Kuala Lumpur <coughs> Jadi, dan Dr. Jamal ini memang beliau adalah uh, sebenarnya dokternya di bidang uh, apa, applied ini uh, bukan farmasi apa? Kimia Chemistry, chemistry. Ya, chemistry ya. Tapi beliau pernah menjadi direktur bank <laughs> dan beliau juga <tuh> memimpin beberapa yayasan di Amerika dan di Eropa dan memang seorang penggerak uh, we know that Profesor Malik Badri uh, has been working very closely since when they were young so we would like also to invite Profesor Malik Badri to tell us on the Islamization of knowledge and civilization renewal but in the context of some of the work and sort of uh, Dr. Jamal Arzinji saya sendiri dengan istri sempat diundang ke Washington oleh beliau tahun 2000 bahkan beliau dengan senang hati mengantar kami ke Kongres, ke White House berkunjung ke American Council, Muslim Council, ke CARE dan sebagainya subhanallah seorang apa namanya yang sudah sepuh tapi justru beliau membawa kami <laughs> Liling, saya ada fotonya Pak Arkom juga ya, di di was di Capital ya, saya ingat. Ya. Ya. Tapi ini perjalanan yang lain. Jadi sekali lagi kami mengucapkan selamat datang, alhamdulillah dan wassalam kepada semuanya. Dan saya ingin mengundang Bapak Saran Kasim untuk menyampaikan beberapa ucapan sempena uh, tema kita dan juga beliau akrab. Dengan Dr. Jamal Berjanji Kalau dia terpotong, masyarakat Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah 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 Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah 
Thank you so much, uh, our respected brother, uh, Bapak Habib Hussein Zin, uh, representative for Indonesia. I always call Pak Habib, he is the man of all seasons. He is everywhere. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. He is the anchor for our work, not only in Indonesia, uh, in Malaysia, and in this region. And we pray that Pak Habib will have a healthy life, inshallah. Uh, contribute our effort and also uh, to our beloved uh, speaker tonight, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Malik Badri, uh, holder of uh, Ibn Khaldun Chair, the National International Islamic University of Malaysia. If Pahati is a man of all season, our dear professor is the father of all men. <laughs> <laughs> he has been with us for long, Alhamdulillah, and all, all of us are his sons and his daughters, and we would like to benefit uh, from his thought, his experience, uh, with Triple ID, with the, the late uh, Dr. Jama, uh, with us tonight. And also, uh, Honorable, I think we have uh, deans, uh, we have head departments, we have professors, uh, we have uh, lecturers uh, in this room tonight, and brothers and sisters. Uh, indeed, I am most uh, honored and humbled to be here tonight uh, to speak on behalf of our uh, regional representative, Dr. Wira Dukajamil Osman. I may not have much uh, personal experience uh, with the late uh, Dr. Jamal Bersanji, though we were together in 93, 94, and then in IIU, and once a while with him. Uh, but tonight, uh, please allow me to say a few words uh, in memory of our late brother. Uh, we are very familiar with the thought and ideas of Jamalit Afghani, uh, Muhammad Abdul, uh, Amir Shafiq Arsalan, Malik Ben Nabi, and others. However, these ideas were only in, are only in writings. We could not use this idea. We could not see how these ideas translated in a real and in concrete terms. Alhamdulillah, the brothers in Triple IT, such as the late uh, Ismail Farouki, Abdul Hamid Abu Sulaiman, and our Professor Malik Badri, and also our late Dr. Jamal Bersanji, realized that we should work as an institution to, to ensure these, these ideas can be translated in a concrete term. In short, these ideas must be translated in a course outlines and a textbook so that our new generation can live and implement these ideas. Alhamdulillah, the Pride East and South Asia, especially in Indonesia, has started a small effort to prepare a comprehensive course online and textbooks based on Islamization and integration of knowledge. <laughs> Secondly, the need for teamwork. We cannot, in this today's world, this contemporary modern work, we cannot work alone. We have to work together. This is the spirit of Dr. Jamal Bersanji. And he, if he is standing here tonight, he will say that we must work together. No matter what, no matter how dif different we are, how broad our ideas, we must work together for the benefit of the Ummah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, we have to work together. And later after this meeting, we will also talk about the future of our cooperation in Taiwan. So it's my pleasure to introduce Professor uh, Dr. Jamal. Uh, yes. Professor Dr. Malik Badri. Uh, the father of all men and women, <laughs> and we would like to also 
later after this uh, to make a kind of uh, testimony. Uh, Brother Masudi has been also working closely with uh, the late Dr. Jamal Kaljani. So, Professor Malik Badri, Fabian Abdul Mashkur.
because he was a little bit rigid. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I met him again in uh, 1976, 75, 76, in the United States. I was invited by the Association of Muslim Social Scientists, and I met him there. He changed altogether. He became very flexible and uh, far-sighted and meek person. I think Jamal is really exceptional. Jamal is a graduate in a field of science, and then, all of a sudden, I see him as an, a good administrator. And then again, I find that he is working uh, in business and doing work in business. He joins business with a scientific degree, with uh, his, his good work in the social sciences. And he is really an exception. And then, uh, lastly, I saw him then again after that. When he came to UIA, I was then a professor in UIA. Uh, that was in 1995 uh, or so. And he came and then became the dean of the faculty of disease knowledge and human science. Again, he's a different person. He is able to acclimatize, able to uh, be connected to the university business, able to become a dean, very successful dean, and to develop so much. And all, on top of all this, he is not a person who works for himself or to talk about his achievements. He works quietly. And, and, and achieves. Not only that, while he was dean, at the same time, he was running a business in North Africa, I think in Morocco. And he was working in the same company that sells ice cream. And he was making money out of this. He is really an exceptional person. <coughs> And I feel that uh, we have really lost an uh, important man because, on top of all that, he was a great scholar. He would read with IT, he would read all the manuscripts before its publication, and would uh, give criticisms which the authors have not thought of before. But again, I would say that this. Uh, characteristic of Jamal is somehow shared by other members in uh, in the full IT. This is a strange group of people here, of Muslims, Arab Muslims, most of them. But we have now a great African among them, and we have now somebody from Bosnia. But in general, these people who read this uh, Jamal Karazendi, the Hamid of Suleiman, uh, Ahmad Tutuji, and uh, these are not typical. They are accurate. They, they, when they lived in the US, they took the good qualities of the Americans in being efficient in their work. Now, if you write an email to uh, Tutuji, you, you will get it the next day. Which is really not typical in our Arab uh, easy going, uh, lazy approaches. Uh, I am personally uh, indebted to people IT. I am indebted to people IT because, and particularly, in particular, to Abdul Hamid Abu Suleiman. When I, I uh, uh, was to retire from the University of Khartoum after reaching the age of 60 in 1990, 
91 in fact, I decided we have a private university in Sudan. So I decided to move to open a branch of this university in my uh, village in Sudan. To start the first university branch of the Afar University in that place. And I spoke to my brother who was the, the, the president of the university and he was very happy because the university started in that village in the year 1970 as a small school. So very good man, you go back and you reinstate a branch of our university in the place where it started as a small school in uh, about uh, in the area, very early in the 20th century. I spoke to the Minister of Higher Education, who is a good friend of Abdel Hamid Abdel He is now the Speaker of the Parliament. 